Do you guys love model railway or trains in general? If the answer is yes, that is great because we're going to be doing an unboxing and review of this brand new Osogen Models product, uh, the Tangara, which is a Sydney, Australia, uh, very famous Sydney, Australia train, which has been uh, out since 1987. My birth year. Hey, hey, hey. Just now you guys know how old I am. Damn it. Uh, guys, we do uh, daily videos on this channel, apparently talking about absolutely everything. Uh, I'm a huge model railway fan. You can find me on Tallboy Gareth on channel one, and of course, channel two. Two as the two, one as the one. You can find me on Tallboy Gareth, of course, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. Uh, let's just get straight into it and talk a little bit more about this, uh, this awesome train, which was actually just released today after eight years of talk and speculation from the company, the roller company, uh, the, these guys right here. Now, uh, I'm not too sure why it, it's taken them about eight years to get this product from, you know, from concept to reality, but it has, I, th I guess they're perfectionists. I, I think one of the reasons was that uh, the train wheels on the actual train uh, we're actually catching underneath. So the train in real life, you can't really see the wheels properly. And when the train was bending corners, uh, it would derail. So I think that was one of the reasons it took so long to get this model made. But we're gonna do a bit of a turn of the box and show you guys what this looks like. I guess we'll zoom in a little, what do you reckon? Beautiful model, wouldn't you say? And there's the front of that one. Okay, so uh, yeah, if you guys aren't from Sydney, Australia, the Tangara is a, a very famous train. I want to read about it quickly right now, just on uh, on good old good old Wikipedia. Uh, the T set, also referred to as the Tangara trains, are a class of electric multiple unit operated by Sydney Trains in Sydney, Australia. Now the Tangaras were developed between 1988 and 1995 and are a third generation trains. Uh, the, the first train went to Central, Central Station on, in 1987, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Tangara, the word Tangara means to go in Aboriginal. And when uh, Aboriginal, the Aboriginal culture, Australian people, if you didn't know from you know, wherever you're watching this video from, uh, when this train was first released, it was you know, a technological marvel. I think it was the most, uh, I, I'm pretty sure I read some of it, it was the most uh, unique technologically advanced train of the time when it first came out. There was no other train like it. Double story, as you guys can see. So yeah, we're gonna do an unboxing review. Of, we've got two of these bad boys and uh, you know, show you what this thing looks like. Now we do have a bit of a train set kind of issue thing set up, right, as you guys can see. We've got some, uh, old Sydney trains uh, from from back in the day. A um, <laughs> little bit of a train buff. I used to have a setup as a kid, and one as as an as a t uh, you know, early twenty year old teenager type situation. Uh, now I just keep them in boxes and on shelves. But we, we, we're getting them out. We're getting them out for this video. Here's another old Sydney train. This one's actually still in use right now. Uh, Red Rattler is another Sydney passenger train. Uh, so look, uh, let's just get this show on the road and get this unboxed right now for you guys. Uh, this thing isn't cheap. Uh, it's, I'm sure the quality's there, but it, it is not cheap. Let me just put that there. I'll, I'll show you the prices and everything soon, but we're going to undo the first box right now, I reckon. Uh, let's just get, a, get ahead and do that, I reckon. What do you guys think? We'll get the scissors. Cut along here. All right. Never cut towards yourself, guys, because that can lead to an inevitable problem. Trust me on that one. Oh, sniff test. Smells like smells like China factory. <laughs> uh, good smell. I will say. I love. I really love that good uh, new smell. And uh, yeah, it's a bit of a new smell to this thing. Like I said, guys, this is brand new for the public today. This is released for the first time after eight years uh, of talk today. And we've got two of them. And we've got the, well, I'm gonna show you right now. There are on the actual website, 
for this company, this really cool train, model train company. Uh, this is what the Tangara looks like. You can get the older versions of the Tangara, which don't have the yellow doors. And this is the prices as well, so you guys are getting a look at the prices. The price I got for my train was a little cheaper because it was an early bird special, um, which I'm happy with, I guess. And that's the train I got. Really, really cool, right? Uh, yeah, so awesome train. I've been on this train probably, honestly, a thousand times more, you know, going to and from Sydney, from where I live in Sydney. Uh, let's go back to the unboxing. Let's take this off right now. Can we do it? Let me do it. My birds are whistling. Hang on, we're going to change this up now for you guys. Undo for me. This is live. Come on. Rosie Chicken. Good boy, Rosie Chicken. Don't know if you can see my birds. Probably not. They're over there. I'll show you them in a minute. Uh, there we go. That's the box undone. Ooh, what a smell. Hang on, I'm gonna change that camera angle right now for you guys. Wow. Birds, be cool now, be cool. No more talking. We're gonna get this off right now. Okay, it comes in this weird, not weird, it comes in this cushion around it to keep it safe. Ah, that is awesome. I don't wanna damage this. Not that I intend to sell it, but uh, I still don't wanna be damaging the package just because I like my things not damaged. Oh my goodness. All right. Mmm, very cool smell. Very, very cool smell. We're gonna lift this off for you guys right now. Wow, look at that. Okay, I'm trying not to, to pull it off too, too much. Otherwise we're gonna, you know, potentially pull the train out of its box. I think we'll do these one by one. What do you guys reckon? <sighs> wow, there we go. First time holding it. That's awesome. Check that out. Beautiful train. Uh, my birth year train. Look at that train model. I really, really like that actually. Yep, yep. That is awesome. Is there a driver in there? What did I see? I could see someone. In... Yeah, there's a driver in the in the window. See that? Wow. Turn it around for you guys. What's underneath? Awesome. This is the first time me seeing this. Uh, it looks like you can connect digital. Uh, I haven't really gone. I have, I've never gone down that path with my train sets before. I probably will do that sometime. Uh, but at the moment, yeah. Uh, the wheels of this train. So some carriage, some some uh, diesel trains, some, you know, uh, some motorized trains allow you to move the wheels on the track. Uh, this one doesn't. That's not a problem. Uh, but it is what it is. So that's the first one. Uh, wow, a little excited here, guys. What have we on eight minutes so far? Uh, well, here we go. We'll try and speed this up a little bit for the second one. All right, that's a lot lighter. So clearly, the first one I just had was definitely the, the motor, uh, the power unit. Wow, look at that. What a beautiful train. I love it. I'll put that one down there. Uh, we'll do this one right now. Look at that, beautiful. Really glad I got this one actually. Might make it a little darker. How does that look? Well, I'm gonna put that one down and I've got some railway track here. So we're gonna you know, show you guys it may be running. Uh, we've, we've, we've got the controller hooked up. I spent about two hours finding things on my boxes. Uh, for the last one, we'll show you taking out because I don't think we've shown, shown you taking it out in any of the other ones. Uh, but there, there's that. But yes, we've got a controller hooked up right now. And um, yeah, we'll hopefully get it running. Probably just the forecast set at least anyway. So we'll put that down just like that. I will put that down here, I guess. And uh, yeah, 
We probably don't need to unbox the other one today, but we're just going to show you the four car set running, if we can. Uh, back to six. We're going to change this. Uh, what we're probably going to do right now is I'm going to lower this tripod camera system uh, so we can get a really cool image of uh, the trains. So since this is still working, we're going to make it a little lower. And there we go. Boom. I don't know if this is too professional or so unprofessional. Uh, you tell me in the comments down below, what do you think? <laughs> uh, we'll go back to six and we'll do a picture in picture for this one so you guys can maybe see. Uh, we'll go to picture one. There we go. So we'll zoom. Okay, we're going to bring the tripod a little closer uh, over here like that. And uh, yeah, let's just get this running, I think. We'll quickly put these over here being very careful not to scratch them up or anything like that. We'll put my computer keyboard over here like that and we'll get this running. I don't know if you guys can see, but this is a very old controller. You see that right there? Uh, very old thing. It does the job still, it still works. So um, I'll tell you what, we're gonna find the, the actual motor first and we'll put the motor on. Now it's definitely off for now, isn't it? Off, okay. Oh my God, I'm, I'm, I'm so excited guys. I actually have a story to tell you. Uh, I wanted one of these uh, years ago. I wanted a model of the Sydney train network when I was like 10 years old. I, I went to a place called Hobbyco in Sydney. Now Hobbyco has moved to the Queen Victoria building in Sydney. Uh, it is no longer, uh, sorry, when I first went there, it was not at the Queen Victoria building, but I think it was at, actually at a better location. Uh, it was a bigger shop before it moved to the Queen Victoria building. Anyway, long story short, I wanted a Tangara, a silver set train, uh, a V-set train. None of those trains existed when I wanted them, but, but me and my mum went there looking for them. <laughs> and uh, we walked out, I walked out of the shop depressed because not, there, was none, there was no Australian trains. Well, there was Australian diesel trains, freight trains there, but there was no Australian, uh, what would you call it, you know, passenger trains. Uh, so I was a little, uh, d Debo, I was a little depressed about that, I must say. But to have this now, I'm feeling very happy. Now we're just getting the wheels on this track uh, so we can get this thing running right now for the first time. That looks like it's working. Okay, uh, power on and fingers crossed that this will actually work. Oh my God, did you just see that? Okay, we're gonna, hang on. We're gonna move this over here so you guys get a better picture with the picture in picture still happening that was awesome did you just see that all right oh my god <laughs> i'm a little excited i'm like a little 10 year old kid again wanting to set up my trains uh well you know t early 20 year old as well not to <laughs> i had a big setup at my girlfriend's house in in Thelmy, uh back years ago hi vicky <laughs> like 10 years ago now uh, we used, I used to play a uh, train set with uh, her and her kids, actually, her kids as well. It was a great, great memory. So we're going to go back to number six again and sh oh, show you this thing working. God, here we go. Whoa. Whoa. Wow, that's cool. That is actually really, really cool. Uh, wow, look at that. I'm going to put my hand there because I don't want it to, to derail. We'll go backwards. The first speed with my normal non-digital controller is uh, really fast. Okay, so I'm guessing when we uh, connect some more carriages up, uh, can I actually do it in this, in this one? I'm not too sure. We're gonna give it a go. Hang on. Boom, boom, boom. I'm gonna zoom out a little so you guys can see a little better. It's probably not helping, but that's okay. Uh, if you don't like trains, you're going to hate this video. <laughs> I'm guessing everyone watching is, is someone who likes trains. Uh, thanks for, for watching this video. If you, if you consider this a kind of entertaining video, please feel free to subscribe, like, ring the bell, all that jazz. If you don't ring the bell, YouTube will uh, be mean and they will not tell you when I post a new video. So definitely 
uh, consider giving me that ring situation. Uh, all right, the wheels are on. Oops. One, one is off. There we go. Okay. Uh, I'm not too sure why that's not working. We may not get everything working today in this video, and if we don't, that's fine as well. But we're just going to have some fun and show you guys, you know, what's actually going on with this train set. We're going to put this over here like that and zoom out a little bit more. And yeah, so we'll do that right now. Look at that. Hang on. Make it a little better for you guys. You guys can see the TV there. Okay, so we'll go back a little bit and show you here. We'll put the third carriage on. And yeah, we're almost finished that one. Look at that, awesome. Uh, like I said, it may not connect together today. I'm not 100% sure what to do with that. But this is just a first impression video. Uh, yeah. There's the third one and the last one. Can we make it in the picture? We're going to zoom out a little. Look at that. Okay, look, I'm five years old again. Just allow me to have this fun. Just once, please. All right. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Hang on. By the way, if you're the company who owns these trains, uh, feel free to send me some more cool products for me to review. I absolutely will because I love uh, trains in general. I love your company. And uh, when you guys get some V sets, I will be buying them. So please start making those V sets uh, soon. They're a very old train that run in Sydney, if you guys don't know. Uh, yeah, so please, you know, throw us the goodie bag filled with expensive train sets for me to keep forever and ever, you know? Like, no dramas, guys. I'd, I'd, I'd like that, and I'd make a really cool video for you. <laughs> uh, well, there you go, guys. Uh, I don't think it's actually going to work. It's not going to sit together. I, maybe I need to push it a little harder. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to be doing this in, that, in this video. Now, before I show... Before I try and make the, the train run backwards a little bit, I will show you the box also comes with some spare goodies. What have we got here? We'll go back to six again. And what does this look like? So we get some spare pickups and electric cords and couples, couples? I'm not too sure. But yes. All right, we're gonna make the train go a little bit backwards. Uh, hopefully, we do not, hopefully we do not crash because as you guys can see, there is a dead end with a continuous dead end. So here we go. Oh my goodness. See, that's what I'm talking about. So we'll go back a little bit more and uh, we'll go backwards just very quickly. Uh, so we're going to go this way now. Here we go. Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, one more time. Fords. Awesome. Now we're going to quickly show you guys what this actually looks like. Hopefully the camera angle doesn't bugger up. Sometimes the HDMI cable on this camera is very uh, finicky and will crash just like that. So we're going to do this right now for you guys live and hopefully it works. All right, here we go. Look at that train. Awesome, right? I will be linking this in the video description below. So if you guys feel like it, uh, I'm not. Get, I'm, I'm actually not getting a kickback for these links, believe it or not. So uh, yeah, if you guys want to get one of these, go for it. Uh, if you're the, if you guys own this train, if you're the company watching, feel free, like I said, to throw us something really, really cool. Nice big goodie bag. Uh, guys, that's been a quick little video regarding uh, this beautiful. Uh, train set uh, you guys can find me instagram facebook youtube uh, there we go down below with boxes behind it at tall boy gareth but of course you know we are on two different youtube channels channel one with twenty two thousand plus subscribers and of course uh, channel two the one you're watching this on right 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 now uh, i love you all thanks for watching i'll see you for the next video tomorrow who knows it actually could be train related i've got a train sign here so 
it, it it's pretty likely. See you guys. Bye.